So what we have here is a DV9000 that was sent in for repair. Said that uh, there was no video on the screen. So when we turn it on, we get the lights, uh, charging light, power light, all the test bar lights. So it's typical, uh, well, it seems to be a typical reflow until we notice the hard drive's running. So by the hard drive running, we'll hook up an external uh, monitor to it, like so, and test it that way. Typical way to uh, test your system, see if it's up and running, is to uh, hook that up to it. And what we notice when uh, we do that is we get the screen to backlight and the actual computer starts up. So what we have is a DV9000 that appears to not have a to have a replay issue and what's happened is it's actually not say LCD inverter issue. So after it starts up we're going to take and repair it. That's what we got. So now we've uh, changed the inverter uh, inverters here and we've changed the screen. So we're going to turn it on and see how everything works. Now we get power on and there we go we have video so the problem that we had was uh, specifically attached to the um, inverter and the uh, screen going bad so we will let this go down and there we go starting up windows looks like it's windows 7 All right. got the little scrolling flying walls there and, uh, we'll make sure everything boots up fine and that the video looks correct and we'll call this a fixed system so every time you don't get video on your screen uh, you might hook it up to a external monitor to make certain that uh, it's not the inverters or the uh, LCDs that are bad in it uh, after we tap all this together uh, it'll be done we'll call it finished but uh, most likely that's something that the user didn't uh, try. Got a mouse cursor there. So we're going to uh, say this is a completed system. There we go. As a video, as a login, I said that's a done system, done deal. Inverter and LCD.